Here you go. I'm keep the change. Sir, I'm afraid no alcohol is allowed off the premises. I'll do anything I want. I'm the chief of police. This is David Harbour, the actor behind unexpected hero police chief Jim Hopper in Stranger Things. After spending the first half of his career playing everything from criminals to lawyers to arrogant surgeons, he comfortably transitioned into bringing to life a collection of somewhat flawed but relatable heroes, like the grizzled Red Guardian in Black Widow. David got his first on-screen acting gig in a show that seems like a rite of passage for any up-and-coming actor. Law and Order. He played a waiter and one of countless witnesses questioned by Detective Lenny Briscoe. Okay, get back to work. Yeah, go ahead. And that wasn't his only appearance in the Law & Order multiverse. David guest starred on four additional Law & Order episodes spanning across three series, playing a different bad guy every time. <laughs> It's not as bad as it looks, Ma. It's no big deal. After appearing briefly in 2004's Kinsey, he had a great scene in the Academy Award-winning Brokeback Mountain as a fellow married man who also shares a similar secret about his sexuality. We ought to go down there some weekend. Get away. You know? 2008 was a notable year for him thanks to two very distinct roles. First, he played a James Bond villain. Well, eh, sort of. He played a schmucky, pencil-pushing CIA agent who actually helps out the real villain in Quantum of Solace. <laughs> and then he went on to play Shep Campbell in Revolutionary Road, the quietly envious neighbor of Frank and April Wheeler, who, in his mind, are the ideal couple. His eventual confession of love to April is a mixture of pathetic and heartbreaking. I love you. Don't say that. Afterwards, David made the rounds on TV shows like Manhattan, Pan Am, and The Newsroom. But he quickly began to get disillusioned with Hollywood. A week before his show State of Affairs was canceled, he thought about quitting acting. Until he was sent the script for Stranger Things, and the rest is history. Police Chief Jim Hopper started off as somewhat of the classic lawman who doesn't really buy into all the strange things afoot in the sleepy town of Hawkins, Indiana. But as the series progresses, Hopper becomes the reliable hero who also carries a great deal of trauma. And he goes on to save Hawkins from a number of supernatural horrors, and becomes the heart of the show when he takes in Eleven as a surrogate daughter. I need you safe. This thing is after you. It's not after me. David has gone on to bring his lovable, rugged persona to comic book adaptations, playing the title Devil with a Heart of Gold in Hellboy. Hey! I'm on your side! And becoming an official part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe in Black Widow as Red Guardian. <laughs> Still fits. David Harbour has proven that, when given the chance, he can create characters that are three-dimensional and flawed human beings that the audience can cheer for and relate to. Violent Night will center on a wealthy family as their home is invaded by a group of mercenaries on Christmas Eve. However, the night takes a violent turn as Santa Claus himself steps in to put a stop to the invasion. The film will be rated R, which likely indicates that audiences are in for some violent and brutal content involving jolly O.L. St. Nick, which will serve as a fun contrast to the typical cheerful and innocent depictions of the beloved holiday figure.